What's up, my nerd friends? So, if you don't know, inside the Maiden and the Runes, there will be a vending machine, which is where you trade your event coins. And inside there, there is a converter selection box. Inside this converter selection box, you will get to choose four units, Faust, Clacken, Hack, and Beverly. And these four units are incredible. They are very, very strong. They are almost crucial to make a mono team because Converter are very, very important. Without Converters, you very, very hardly can do a lot of damage. With Converters, you can normal attack more, you can do chain combo, you can do Aurora time. It's fantastic. But who do you choose? So I'm going to introduce you to each of them. So the first one is Clacken. So Clacken, he is a water converter. So he convert green tile to blue or nearest green tile. And if you have the breakthroughs, he can convert one more tile if the ability is ready the previous turn. And then if you have the maximum breakthrough, he straight up just convert one more tiles, which is fantastic. It's pretty much 25% better. And for Clacken, his equipment is pretty unique. And I do think Clacken is probably the best in terms of equipment out of the four units so after using a chain combo inflict one fright on one enemy with the lowest health within four tiles of it in a cross shape for one round so this is a guaranteed fright when you hit enemy with a chain combo but you have to pretty much very close to the enemy and the enemy has to be below 80 percent health this is um pretty much a stun but you have infinite cooldown as long as the enemy is below 80 percent health this is very useful for any boss that is not immune to fright and you can pretty much just constantly stunning them and they can't do anything they have to keep running away from you and clack can, can definitely help you cheese a certain stage or help you deal with the elite monsters it's a fantastic equipment, which is why I think it's the best equipment out of all the four. So if you want a unit that not only can convert, but also give you a lot of utility, Clacken is a good choice. So next is Faust. Now, I don't have Faust race, not because he's not good. He is still good. And he convert four nearest yellow tile to red. A very simple unit. However, his equipment is not the best. At the start of each round, there is 6% chance to inflict fright on enemy for one round. So similar to Kraken, which can inflict fright, but it's very low percentage. And also you cannot control it which is pretty bad because uh, sometimes you get the fear when you don't want it. Uh, you don't want an enemy to run away because you want enemy to come to you so you, you can place the tower perfectly or something. False equipment can sometimes uh, ruin your game, kind of. Uh, it's definitely not the best equipment, but ability to convert tiles is already very very strong and files actually do okay damage having the 165 and then the radio shape but uh you do use files pretty much just to convert he doesn't have any outside utility other than conversion in my opinion so the next one is beverly so beverly is same like uh she will convert red tile to yellow and then there is a chance for enhanced tile which is uh similar across all the converters uh her chain combo is a bit weird one it is a cross shape to the ma maximum range it's not a really good chain combo because most likely you're not gonna hit a lot and then for her equipment when a chain combo hit a target it also deal damage to one random target within two surrounding cluster of the target so this is like kind of a chain lightning style damage uh it bounces the damage around and then for every bounce you lost 50 percent of the original chain combo damage this is honestly not a great equipment the reason is beverly is a converter and Converter has a terrible attack stats. So uh, even though you get some extra damage, like bouncing around units, it's it just kind of whatever. You can just see it as, okay, I get a little bit extra damage. Nothing too crazy. And the last one is Pack. Pack is probably the second best, in my opinion, in the Converter selection box. And she convert red tile to green. And then she has an X shaped chain that can slow enemy that is sitting on green tiles and then marking the targets uh slow is definitely a pretty niche effect it lowers the enemy act which is the amount of move the enemy can move so if an enemy can move two tiles if the enemy is slow it can only move one tiles it's useful but um not really because well it doesn't really do much damage but then it can save you some time if the enemy is not immune to slow in the first place 
which a lot of them do. Uh, and also, the enemy has a sitting on the green tile. Pretty hard to do as well. Her equipment is quite nice. When a mark enemy dies, you gain some health based on the enemy max health. If the enemy uh, die, they actually become an enhanced tile, which is uh, also going to help the green team because hero is a fantastic unit that utilizes enhanced tile a lot. And there is actually quite a lot of unit in forest utilize enhanced tile. So this one will just give you some more utility that is not damaged and because they are converters, you don't actually want a Beverly type of effect like just extra damage. So it's quite nice here. I already explained all units. Who should you actually get? So there's three scenario. The first scenario is you have no, none of them. You have zero of the units in the selection box. So I assume you watch this because you are a newer player, you don't understand how strong Converter is. Pick the one that will benefit you the most. So what am I saying here? Let's say in your beginner pool or whatever, you have, um, let's say you get a six star that is Charon. So you want to build a fire team. And my opinion is just pick Faust. Just pick a fire Converter that will benefit you on the team you want to build the most. Scenario number two, you have already one of them and also you're using the team. So let's say you're building a Thunder team and you already have Beverly and you are thinking, should you get a dupe to get the Breakthroughs, which is this one here. If the skill was ready on the last round, increase the tile converting count by one in this round. So this will help you get one extra tile if you don't use the skill immediately. And it is actually quite helpful sometimes, but is it worth it? Not really. <laughs> I would say, uh, pick another uh, converters that is not the one you are building because converter is so strong and you they are pretty much crucial to build mono team uh, you should pick the other one so you can potentially build future mono team or you can just save the box for now until you actually need to open them until until you actually get the mono team so um, i would say the breakthrough 2 which is this one is not really that important. You don't have to go for it. So yeah, save the box for now, if that is your scenario. So scenario number three, you already have every single unit, every single converter, and you are thinking, well, which unit should I get, right? You have all of them, just like me. I have every single converters. My opinion is you save the box until you can maximum breakthrough one of them. So maximum breakthrough will grant you this, uh, increase the tile converting count by one. This is so strong because uh, it helped you improve your ability by 25%. This one, this one doesn't actually improve your abilities, right? Because you slow you down and in an essence, yeah, it's nice to have definitely, but it doesn't actually make your skill better. But this one, this one straight up make your skill 25% better. So I would say if you already have every single converters in this box, you can save the box until you can maximum break through one of them. Uh, for my example, my click gun is very, very close to to maximum breakthrough. I actually only need one. As you can see here, I break through one of them. I actually only need one more to maximum breakthrough click gun, which makes him like 25% better. I would actually use my converter selection box just to get the last copy of Kraken. But do know that uh, you should summon or you should use your summon first before you open the box, just in case you don't get a Kraken dupe, right? Uh, if you plan to summon anyway. Uh, I don't really plan to summon a lot, at least. Uh, I do 10 summon here and there, but yeah, that is my opinion. And that's pretty much it. If you like the video, definitely give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want more Alchemist content. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.